All right, gang, it's about two o'clock and I've been working on resumes and stuff. I have a 3.30 interview, so I haven't eaten anything yet. So I'm gonna go to lunch, uh, deal with all my final issues and then go to the interview. I, I had another call today for uh, another position that is a temporary position and I'd be willing to take a temp position. Um, um, right now, so, but uh, they of course sent me a test, they, um, this is again through a, a, an employment agency and you have to take their Microsoft Office test and uh, uh, I didn't have time to take it, they wanted me to do it today, but that's, that's not going to happen because they, uh, it was a two hour test and I got it around 1.30, so wasn't gonna be able to do that. I'll be able to do that probably tomorrow because today, after I get back from the interview, I'm going to be doing uh, a nibbling with Jay, so kind of an important nibbling. So that's what's going on today right now. I'm just gonna go get me a, a Del Taco burrito and uh, try to make sure I don't have burrito breath at the interview head on over there. It's in Anaheim. Anaheim's about 30 minutes away and that's not bad. Uh, it's probably more than 30 minutes away in the morning uh, because of the traffic. Yeah, because it's headed towards LA or Anaheim. And anytime you're trying to go west in LA area, that about at least twice as much to get there. So, I'll let, if I get the job, it'll be an hour's drive every morning. Uh, unless I might get one of those uh, passes, the uh, freeway passes. See how it all works out. It's too, it's too hot for a jacket. I'm not gonna wear a jacket. It's about 80 degrees right now. And because of the rain, we've been having, it's humid. So it's, it's pretty sticky and ugly, so. Just a shirt and tie today, and uh, trimmed my beard up a little. That's about all I'm gonna do. All right, everybody, so I'm on my way home from the interview, and I've got Val on the phone here. Hi, so, guys. So um, the interview went pretty well. I, w I really liked these guys. Um, they were very much um, my kind of people. Uh, had a, um, They're really, really looking for someone to they don't have a, a HR department. They just want an HR guy. And I'm saying, fine, I'll be your guy. So, um, and the only, the only problem I have is the distance. Uh, I'm stuck in traffic right now because I'm coming out of LA area. So, the freeway just stopped moving, by the way, Val. Oh, did it? Yeah, <laughs> I spoke too soon. I'm going, hey, the freeway's gone great. So, but he, he did make me wait almost an hour and a half before he came out, and I, I talked to the vice president of the company, and um, very environmental uh, people for a pharmaceutical company. I was kind of surprised. They, uh, uh, there was two Teslas in the parking lot, and I asked, who belongs to the Teslas? So all the CEO and the COO go, cool, you know, that shows that I'm making some serious bucks, but I care about the environment. So, and... Yeah. Since I was sitting there for such a long time, I saw quite a few employees coming and going, and um, they're all very happy people. I was um, uh, very surprised, considering where I used to, used to work, man. If, if you sat there, you'd see people screaming and hollering and uh, all kinds of uh, issues. <laughs> yeah. That's... that's good that it seems like a nice company. Did uh, the interview go well? Did the gentleman seem to like you? Yes, I think he did. I mean, I uh, it's a pharmaceutical company that has never had an HR uh, guy before, so he kind of knows what he wants, but he wanted to hear me say I know what I'm talking about. 
and I think I, ca uh -huh. I came off pretty well. Well, first of all, I understood his industry, and I was talking about uh, a good manufacturing practices and uh, standard operating procedures. I asked them if they have a validations department. These are things that nobody else would know unless you're in the pharmaceutical industry. And he was, uh, right. I, I think he was pretty impressed with that. And, um, you know, um, the only thing that I, I did that I don't think, you know, you never, sh you never talk bad about your previous company, but he asked. So I told him, uh -huh. I told him some things that I, I'm not going to say on the vlog. Because, uh, yeah. but um, he seemed to be um, surprised, but he says, um, he's, he, he says his thing is that he, he's, when he goes home at night, he he does he sleeps because um, he hasn't harmed anybody in any way, which I think uh, that is, I've never heard anybody in a pharmaceutical company say that, and that was I've never heard anybody that owns a business be able to just say that without you know to come right out and say that. Yeah, because that certainly was not the way my company thought, and uh, yeah. I I would love love to work for these guys because. These are the kind of people I want to be around. Now, is this a company that you applied for, or? I applied for it. Agency? Yes, I applied for it. Okay. Well, that's good. When did he say he's ready to make a decision? Uh, well, as usual, he's, he sent me an, a test to, to do. So I have to do a test. I, I don't know mm -hmm. what kind of test we'll have to see. And uh, I have somebody else who did that, sent me a test today. Uh, and I was supposed to do it today, but I realized it was, it says that it was going to take two hours to do the test, and I didn't have two hours. So. Yeah. So, that was my day. Well, that's good. So, I'm going to. Sounds gonna... like it was, so that it was a good meeting yeah it's probably the best interview I've had in a year and a half so well, but hopefully something comes of it yeah okay everybody so that's uh, it's all there is for today I put up two separate vlogs one for Val in North Carolina and one for us here uh, mostly because of um, the length of them and um, the mood of the particular ones it was I didn't know how to else to put those together I so, um, um, make sure you, uh, give thoughts and prayers for, for my father-in-law, Fred, and, uh, if you haven't already checked out, uh, Mom's Vlog 80, um, and Elijah, then th uh, make sure that you always have Elijah in your thoughts and prayers, um, and go check out Mom's Vlog 80, and, uh, I think you'll like it if you're not already, uh, subscribed. Make sure you go check them out. Tomorrow we will do our shout outs. I was going to give uh, some other uh, thoughts and prayers, but I think it's best um, Val does it tomorrow. So that's it for today. If um, you liked hanging out with us today, um, make sure you give us a big thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already or you need to subscribe again, hit that red button down below. And uh, share these vlogs with your friends and family and neighbors. And uh, I will see you all tomorrow.